for any discrete random variable x with probability mass function p of x equal to j equals p of j p of j greater than or equal to 0 comma j belongs to 0 to n and sigma j equals 0 to n p of j equals to 1 define the polynomial function g x of z equal to sigma j equal to 0 to n p of j into z raised to j for a certain discrete random variable y there exists a scalar beta belong to 0 comma 1 such that g y of z equals 1 minus beta plus beta z the whole power n the expectation of y is we have been given four options so this is a question from probability distributions this was a very tough question which appeared this year this is tough because of two reasons one is even understanding the question it will take us some time to read and understand the question fully and the second part is even if we understand the question in order to solve it also we'll need to know all the basics of probability distribution like we need to have a good grasp on probability distributions expectation etc in order to answer this question so i will explain the question first of all so here the question is about what the expectation of y is we need to find the expectation of y so suppose for any random variable x the expectation of x will be equal to sum of all the values of x into probability of x having that value if x has values 1 2 3 etc and then it has associated probabilities for getting that value then the expectation of the random variable x would be the sum of all the values of x into the probability of getting that value so in the question initially they have been they have given us a random variable x now it's given that p of x equal to j equals p of j so what it means that for the random variable x for x having a particular value j the probability is p of j meaning for x to be equal to j the probability is p of j and probability of j is greater than or equal to 0 probabilities of everything should be greater than or equal to 0 and j belongs to 0 up to n j can have values tending, ranging from 0 1 etc up to n and also it said that p sigma j equal to 0 to n p of j equal to 1 now this is the condition for this becoming a probability distribution if p if x can have values from 0 1 2 etc up to n and with the probability the sum of the probability of x getting value 0 1 2 etc up to n if the sum of all those probabilities is 1 then we can model it as a probability distribution so this is just the condition for it to become a probability distribution now what is expectation of x here expectation of x is for every value of x that value into the probability of getting that value so that is nothing but sigma j equals 0 to n the value of x is j into probability of getting the value j is p of j now if you see this is sigma j equals 0 to n j into p of j now when j equal to 0 this becomes 0 into p of j this is not x this is multiplication symbol okay so when j is 0 it will become 0 into p of j so that will become 0 only so we can eliminate that from this sigma part so we can rewrite it as sigma j equal to 1 to n j into p of j so this is expectation of x now on top of x they have given us a polynomial function gx of z that is equal to j equal to 0 to n p of j into z raised to j so for our random variable x they have given one additional polynomial function gx of z that will be equal to sigma j equal to 0 to n p of j into z raised to j so what this polynomial function gives we don't know but they have given us this data now what we want is to find out expectation of y right so before finding out expectation of y let's try to find out what the expectation of x would be in terms of this particular polynomial function because for y the only data we have is the same polynomial function for the random variable y that is 1 minus beta plus beta is that this function and this function so this is a function for x this is a function for y we don't know what this function gives so and but the aim is to find out expectation of y so let's try to find out the expected expectation of x in terms of this polynomial function so expectation of x we found out it will be sigma j equal to 1 to n j into p of j so can we get this one from this one this is sigma j equal to 0 of n p of j into z raised to j now p of j is there here and here so we already got p of j now 
to get expectation from here somehow we need one j term we need j into p of j for it to become expectation but here it, we have z raised to j so what's the way of getting this j outside and putting here so if you look if you look at this if we take the derivative of z here derivative of z would be j into z raised to j minus 1 if we take derivative of z we can take this j outside and keep it into this expression so let's try that out let's try taking g dash of g dash of x of z okay g of x of z the derivative of that we are taking with respect to z so this is a function in z okay so derivative of this will be sigma j equal to 0 of 0 to n p of j is a constant and z raised to j's derivative would be j into z raised to j minus 1 so g dash of z would be sigma j equal to 0 to n p of j into j into z raised to j minus 1 now again look at this can we we need to somehow make this equal to this okay so we got j term here that's there p of j is also there and then there says z term here somehow we need to eliminate this so the term is z raised to j minus 1 if we put z equal to 1 it will become 1 raised to j minus 1 okay then that, that way we can eliminate the z term so this I have rewritten again here sigma j equals 0 to p of j into j into z raised to j minus 1 when j is 0 this entire term will be 0 so we can eliminate that I mean we so that means we can rewrite it as sigma j equal to 1 to n p of j into j into z raised to j minus 1 so same thing just I have just removed the j equal to 0 part now just like I said previously we will assign z equal to 1 that will be g dash x of 1 sigma j equal to 1 to n p of j into j into 1 raised to anything will be 1 only huh. so if you look at this this and this is exactly the same so g dash 1 g dash x of 1 will be sigma j equal to 1 to n p of j into j so right now what i did is i have changed this function i have modified this function some way that it becomes expectation of x now the what i did here is i just took the derivative of this with respect to z and i made z equal to 1 so now we know what the significance of this polynomial function is the polynomial function will give the expected value expectation of the random variable when we take the derivative of this and assign z equal to 1 so that's how i got the expectation of x here right so now we understand what the polynomial function does g dash x of 1 gives the expectation of x now it's the same polynomial function given for y so meaning g dash y of 1 will give the expectation of y so this is the important point which we need to arrive at in this question now once we got this we can try to find out the expectation of y as well so for y the g polynomial function is given as this so now we'll take the derivative of that so derivative of 1 minus beta plus beta z raised to n will be n into beta into 1 minus beta plus beta z how i got beta out is that 1 minus beta is a constant term z is there only for this term so i can take this beta out when i take the derivative of this so g dash y of z will be n beta into 1 minus beta plus beta z double raised to n minus 1 now for getting expectation we not only need to get the derivative but we also need to assign z equal to 1 so when i assign z equal to 1 g dash y of 1 will be n beta into 1 minus beta plus beta into 1 that is beta only raised to n minus 1 so this term is 1 minus beta plus beta the whole raised to n minus 1 so that becomes 1 only this entire term will be 1 minus beta plus beta this 2 will be crossed out this will be 1 raised to n minus 1 that is 1 only so this will become n beta as i have written here g dash y of 1 gives expectation of y that's what we have calculated here g dash 1 of g dash y of 1 is n beta which means the expectation of y is n beta now we look at the options in options b is the only right answer